everybody um i'm selling this moog prodigy on ebay so i thought i'd just do a little video um show you what it can do uh make sure that it works and everything um it's in really good condition i think it's quite an early model um uh all the keys are fine i'll show you that they're all triggering and not re-triggering um there's occasionally a sort of intermittent problem with some of the keys. Like, I think it's okay now. I, I cleaned all the contacts. Some of them used to re-trigger, like this one, but it sounds fine. So that seems to be fixed. Cool. Um, right. So um, show you some of the sounds. It's really nice for leads. Um, uh, it, I'll show you the oscillators. There's oscillator one has saw, triangle, and pulse. And oscillator two has got saw, triangle, and square. Um, you can mix these however you like, obviously. classic Moog filter in it. Um, it's got, um, strangely, it's got a three-stage envelope, but there's a separate envelope for filter and volume, which is great. Um, and this controls decay and release. Switch release off if you so wish. And this thing is great for bass. Um, that is technically the lowest note you can get, but you can sort of cheat by using the pitch wheel if you send it down about 11 semitones. And then you can finish it off and get an octave with that little fine tuned knob up there. And you can get some really kind of meaty bases out of this. Probably one of the most famous sounds of this synth is the oscillator sync. So you can sync oscillator two to oscillator one. It sounds pretty nice if you've got like 32 foot uh, sawtooth and 16 or eight foot square on oscillator two, sync them together. And then the pitch wheel becomes tuning for oscillator two. So you can get some really nice like. Some reasonably good brassy sounds out of this as well. Oh, I've just talked to you about modulation. Um, it's a just a simple triangle or square wave LFO. And that can either control the VCO or VCF or both. So if you're a fan of Rush, you can do stuff like this. And the 
filter can self resonate as well. You turn keyboard tracking up either to half or full. and stuff. So yeah, just to run down, um, two oscillators, one LFO, uh, the awesome Moog filter, uh, two envelopes for VCF and VCA. Uh, oh, Portamento as well. Wouldn't be a mug synth without that, now would it? Um, although this is an early model which shouldn't have CV gate inputs at the back, someone has retrofitted them. I think the previous owner retrofitted CV gate and filter inputs. And um, I can verify that CV and filter ins work, but the gate input, I've never managed to get that to work. I don't know whether that's because um, my RPAX, which is the only synth I got with CV outs, maybe the, the, gate the gate out on that is a different voltage or something, but the CV and filter inputs definitely work. Um, wooden side panels on this, like I said, it's in really good condition, um, and the wood looks great. Um, there's a little crack in it down here, but other than that, there's basically not a thing wrong with this. This is probably one of my favourite synths that I've ever owned, um, and it's a really reluctant sell, but uh, I'm moving, so I have to downsize, unfortunately. So. Yeah, um, I'll post the link to this in the video description, um, and yeah, I hope I can find a good home for it, poor thing, I'll miss you. So yeah, thanks for watching.